Hello, this is Organization with Oli. Today we're going to talk about how to make a great judgment, guys. How to make a great judgment. Make sure you've watched my videos on knowledge, application, analysis, evaluation, and now we're coming to judgment. So stick around. I think you're going to like what I've got for you. Now we're going to go straight into how to make a great judgment. How to make a great judgment, guys. We're going to go straight into how to make a great judgment. Now, let's let's talk about it. This is exactly how you can smash an essay question. Now, where do you find the judgment? Now, in Edexcel, which is which I'm giving giving examples here, you're going to find a judgment normally in the 25 mark as well as AQA, but some in the 20 mark as well, especially the old AS. That's where you get a judgment as well. But you might, you probably need to use a judgment in the 15 marker, especially if you're doing Edexcel, because if you look at the structure. Is three, 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 and six. If you make one analysis point, you evaluate that point. Please go back to my previous videos. You're still going to have three marks left, so you still got to make. You, you still got to do some sort of judgment. And that, some of you might be thinking, "What is judgment? What is judgment? It's not a conclusion. That's one thing you must understand." Now, let, let's have a look at Judge, Judge Judy. Hopefully, all of you know who Judge Judy is. Okay, if, if not, she's one of these very famous judges. Now, if she's going to make a conclusion. A conclusion would be, for example, she's looked at the case, and in conclusion, you've obviously committed this offence. In conclusion, that's how she can conclude. Um, but in terms of judgment, what she would look at is maybe other things that might have caused you to commit this offence. Maybe things outside the, the case. Things. So, so in other words, in economics, what you need to look at in terms of making a judgment, you're going back to the question. You're looking at the overall aspect, the whole aspect of the entire question. You're not just looking at a specific point. For example, you could say, in conclusion, this, 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 this. But in terms of judgment, you're looking at the overall picture. Just like Judge Judy, rather than saying, well, this is your, this is, you've obviously committed the offence, and I'm going to, therefore I'm going to sentence you this. She then looks at the whole thing. Things that have happened, maybe, not even in this particular case, things that have happened that has contributed to what you've done of why you've committed this particular offence, okay? So that's what judgment is. And I'll give you an example, so hopefully you guys will understand. This is, a, this is a question. The UK's current account has been persistently in deficit for many years, okay? Evaluate steps the UK government could take to eradicate the deficit, okay? So it could be 15, 20 mark, 25 marker. So let's make an analysis point so you understand exactly how I come, uh, how I come with my judgment, okay? So analysis, for example... Increase income tax, so people, that will reduce people's marginal propensity to import. If you increase income tax, people are going to have less disposable income, therefore going to, they're going to buy less imports, okay? Evaluate that. Hold on, if you do that, that's going to also impact on consumption, which could adversely impact on AD as well. So it's, it's kind of it's counterproductive if you do that. So that, that's an evaluation point for that one. Another analysis point you could make, remember you're trying to reduce the current account deficit is supply-side policies. Pick a specific supply-side policy, talk about how it can increase productivity. In terms of evaluating it, you can use things like obviously expense and the time, but you obviously go into a lot more detail and explain that. That could be your argument. That could be some sort of, uh, you know, an idea of how you could approach this kind of question. Now, in terms of giving a judgment, you've done all this, you've made your analysis point, you've done your chain of reasoning, You've evaluated the point you've made. Very important. Please go back to my previous videos, guys. I keep saying this. You need to go back to my analysis, uh, evaluation, all those videos. You need to go back to them. Okay, so you've done all that. Now you want to do a judgment. Now, the, the way to do a judgment, remember what I've said to you, you look at the overall. So you go back to the question and you think, you actually start to think and think, okay, how can we um, reduce this deficit? Okay. It's been a persistent deficit. How can we reduce the deficit? You do not focus on what you've re written. You don't, you're not going to conclude what you've written. Oh, if, for example, you could say, oh, well, we should use a, a much better product. Um, we, should, we should focus on productivity and, and keep, continue doing the supply side policies and stuff like that. Okay. You don't want to focus on what you've written. What you want to do is to give an overall aspect, overall overview of, of, of the question. And a good example would be this, for example, having weighed everything up. An alternative, perhaps controversial viewpoint, is that do these current deficit, current account deficits actually matter? Whoa! Look at that. 
That is controversial. That is an alternative viewpoint. And that's the kind of thing you need to be thinking of doing. And you can only do that if you know the stuff, if you read your economics and you know what you're talking about, okay? We've had deficits for many years, but the UK is still one of the wealthiest nations in the world. Perhaps the macro objective should not be to aim for a balance of payments, but rather maybe something much more achievable, such as to aim that the current account deficit should not exceed 2% of GDP. Is that not a more realistic objective? We can't, we've, we've, be try, we've said balance of payments, balance of payments, but we've not, we're not able to do that. It's not, you can't do that sustainably. And the reason why we can't do that is that the UK and the US always have higher wages through minimum wage. And in the UK, living wage legislation, okay? Plus, both nations have trade unions regularly bidding up wages. All this substantially increases the cost of production. So you, we have that. That's not going to change anytime soon, okay? So is it realistic to say we should try and aim for balance of payments? Perhaps we should have maybe another objective that's achievable. Maybe no more the deficit should not exceed 2% of GDP. That might be a more sustainable, a more achievable macroeconomic objective, okay? A more realistic, okay? So that's the alternative viewpoint I'm giving. So there's a lot of talk about, oh, reducing de deficits, current account deficit, we have to do this, we have to do that. In reality, it doesn't really matter, okay? That's an alternative viewpoint, and that's the kind of thing you need to be thinking of doing. You can also think about things like what is the most significant, what would, what would, what would call, which policy would cause the most significant impact on that? It has to be something you have not mentioned. Do not mention in your judgment, do not talk about what you've mentioned here. That's the key point in judgment, okay? Okay, so it, let's continue with this. Substantially increase the cost of production, therefore making our exports less price competitive, okay? As a result of our high wages and stuff. Germany is an obvious model we need to aim for, focusing on becoming more non-price competitive. Okay, on more on being non-price competitive by improving the quality and branding of our products. So maybe we need to focus on becoming more non-price competitive rather than this obsession about trying to reduce our deficit. Yes, we should reduce our deficit, but maybe just we should have an aim, objective, maybe no more than two percent of our GDP. Okay, that might be a more realistic approach. Now, this is any any um any marker will see this and this is oh wow this student has really given uh, a judgment of the situation and this and that's exactly how you can smash a judgment guys okay so hopefully you've understood in conclusion in conclusion remember a judgment is not a conclusion okay remember you don't talk about what you've written you give you go back to the question and give an overall and focus on one thing an overall thing that you've not mentioned okay and explain why maybe this this approach maybe this is the this is more significant something you've not mentioned okay so guys you have to practice this practice and practice and practice hopefully you've understood this so please smash the like button okay i'll do a few more of these videos to help you and show you how you can master the judgment in these essay questions thank you bye bye